Welcome to Control M support videos for workload automation series. In this video, we will show you how to perform failover or fallback of Control M server from the command line. From the Control M configuration manager, go to high availability tab and select the Control M server running in here to check the details of the high availability environment. For example, you can check what the primary host is or the secondary host is as well as the state. In this case, it is running as primary. Next, we will show the Control M server processes before executing CTM IPC. From the terminal, I have two open tabs, one for the primary node and one for secondary. To check which Control M server processes are running on each server, we will launch the command ps-ef pipe grep p underscore ctm on both nodes. When we launch that on the primary, we can see that the Control M server processes are running, including the Control M server configuration agent. If we launch the same command on the secondary, we can see that only the Control M server configuration agent is running on the server. To perform the failover of the Control M server from the command line, from the active node, execute the command ctmipc msg id ma4 minus dest ca. Once the command is launched, you can check the progress of the failover from the Control M configuration manager. Once the failover is finished, launch the command ps minus ef pipe grep p underscore ctm to verify that the that only the Control M server configuration agent is running on the primary node and that now all processes of Control M server are running on the secondary node. It is also possible to perform the fallback from the secondary node to the primary through the command line. You just have to execute the same command executed previously, this time from the secondary node, which is the active one. Once the command is launched, we can check the progress of the fallback from the Control M configuration manager. Once the fallback has ended, we launch the command ps minus ef pipe grep p underscore ctm to verify that only the Control M server configuration agent is running on the secondary node and now all the processes of the Control M server are running on the primary node. After completion of the fallback, you will need to, to start database replication as this is not started automatically and just click on the Start Database Replication button to do that. Next, I will show you on the Control M how to set secondary Control M server to primary through the command line. This may be needed, for example, if the primary node is to be reinstalled, thereby making the secondary node primary. In the next example, the active node is the secondary one, which we are going to convert into primary. Uh, this is possible through executing the command ctm ipc minus msgid sap minus destca from the active node. After executing the command, verify the primary node is now our old secondary node through the CCM. This concludes this video. Thank you for watching. Please check our database or the YouTube channel to see more videos like this. Thank you.